the Oklahoma Futurity coverage on StallionEsearch.com. Brought to you by the Sires, Five Bar Cartel, and Eight Political Blood. And hello again, everyone. I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com here in Oklahoma City at Remington Park this morning, previewing the Oklahoma Futurity. It's a cold morning out on the backside. We were able to stop over to the barn of Bill Valdivia, who has the fastest qualifier going into the Oklahoma Futurity. We were, able to, we were able to talk with him, as well as jockey Larry Payne, about this fastest qualifier going into the finals. Trial race for I'm a China Rush. Man, it couldn't have went no better. She walked in there, stood good, left there and just marched to the other end. There's not a whole lot to it. Uh, she just bombed away from there and, and did her job. This horse, uh, obviously you've probably been getting on this horse since the horse arrived here at Remington. What ha what kind of indication did she show that she was going to run a, uh, a trial race like this? Well, originally I got on her at Bill's place uh, before we come here. I went down and gated her that morning and she bombed away from her just like she did the other night and marched to the other end. I told Bill then, I said, you know, <clears throat> he told me she's in Oklahoma Futurity. I said, this filly will qualify for the Oklahoma Futurity. I said, she's the kind it takes to qualify for this Futurity. And uh, I didn't I really didn't know how good she was. We schooled her in the schooling race and uh, we didn't, did we get her before the schooling race up here? I don't think so. I don't think we did. We put her right in the schooling race and, and she bombed out there that day and I just kind of idled her down. Something run by her and beat her. I don't even remember what it was. She run second in her training race and uh, Bill was a little concerned that, that we didn't have it. I said, Bill, we had plenty of horse. I just don't like to waste it out here practicing. And, and uh, we kind of just sat on her and, and waited on this deal. And, the whole crew's done a really good job with her. She's good, sensible, smart. And you know, she's not one of them that you have to handle with kid gloves or anything. She's uh, pretty intelligent. She just walked in there and done her job just the way she'd been prepared to do. You know, these, these horses, uh, for me, is a special horse. I was, uh, I was lucky enough to, to uh, try and desire and the mama and the grandma, you know, I know the whole family. And yes, it is a homebred horse. Uh, we always thought she, she has some uh, talent. Uh, it's always been a smart filly. I called Larry to come up to the farm and, and work her over there early this year and, because I thought she was special. Uh, Larry got on her over there at the farm and, and um, got her away from the gates. And uh, Larry said, hey, Bill, I think this filly is going to be nice. I think we're gonna set pretty good for the uh, Oklahoma Dirty, which you know I told him that's where she was. And since that day on, I mean she's been a professional. I mean, like her sire and her mama. Rubicho Ranch Incorporated, home of a political blood, a Grade One All American Derby winner, the champion son of a political Jess, a star of the quarter horse racing turf displaying on multiple occasions in his grade one winning career his blinding level of speed and versatility. A brilliant racing career that brought home earnings of over $1.5 million from a 14 race career. Now in Louisiana producing some of the eye-catching future superstars at the sprint distance. Let a political blood infuse his speed into your bloodlines by breeding your mares to one of the hottest new sires in the south. A Political Blood, standing at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Bro Bridge, Louisiana.